February 5th, 1946, a 20-year-old named Mary Lou Jenkins was found murdered in her house. Mary Lou was home alone in Columbia, Missouri. Her father was out of town on business and her mother was spending the evening helping the elderly neighbors. Her mother was just down the street, so they decided on a plan in case of an emergency. Mary Lou was told to turn on a light, lift the shades in the front window, and then call her mother. And at some point during the night, Mary Lou's mother noticed a light was on and the shades had been pulled up. But since she didn't receive a phone call, she assumed everything was okay. But when Mary Lou's mother returned home the following morning, she found her daughter dead on the living room floor. Mary Lou had been sexually assaulted and strangled with an extension cord. Not long after, a man confessed to murdering Mary Lou. October of 1949, just a few days before Halloween, a 16-year-old babysitter was sexually assaulted by a masked man. A month later, on November 29th, 18-year-old Sally Johnson was attacked, sexually assaulted, in her own home. And this occurred just a block away from the October incident. On November 30th, the very next day, a University of Missouri student was sexually assaulted by a masked man. The victim had been parked with her boyfriend at Lover's Lane. The attacker approached her car and brandished a gun. He forced the couple to exit the vehicle. After walking them a short distance away, the attacker robbed and bound the boyfriend and then sexually assaulted the woman. A few days later, a man confessed to the attacks on the babysitter and Sally Johnson. He was also arrested on charges of prowling and peeping Tom. After the arrest, the attacks diminished and the town felt safe again. A mentally unstable man by the name of Floyd Cochran was charged with the murder of Mary Lou, as well as the murder of his wife during a domestic dispute. 